Greetings, fellow vigilantes, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to a brand new series of Project Zomboid called Bandit Slayer. If you would like to skip the overview of this series and the setup of the mods, please use YouTube chapters. Welcome everybody to a brand new series playing Project Zomboid called Bandit Slayer. So Bandit Slayer is a Project Zomboid series where in addition to having to fight endless hordes of zombies, I'll be fighting bandits wielding weapons and guns too. Our protagonist veteran has to not only survive the zombies, but to outwit and slay the multitude of marauding gangs of bandits who've taken root in the town and murder anyone who crosses their paths. The difficulty will be Default Apocalypse, and the only mod I will be using is called Bandits Beta. Uh, the settings for Bandits Beta have been modified to prevent friendly bandits from spawning. A uh, little context, there are three types of bandits. Raiding bandits, which target the player directly. Um, they know where the player is at all times and they try to murder the player. Wandering bandits, which spawn nearby but don't directly target the player. And friendly bandits, which um, will help the player out. But friendly bandits have been disabled. And then I've also reduced the quantity of bandits that spawn to about a third, uh, and you'll understand why. But essentially, without modifying that bandit spawning quantity, um, you can get to a point where like, you're trying to sleep through the night and every two hours you're woken up by marauding bandits. It's a real problem. The starting location will be Riverside. And I would also like to offer up the caveat of the bandits beta is being regularly updated and does indeed have issues. So I might run into some bugs and imbalances and we'll just have to tough it out. So let's get going. I am going to be doing custom sandbox, but Believe me when I say everything about the custom sandbox is apocalypse plus modified bandit beta. So I'll show you that here. And we'll call this, I don't want to jinx it, but attempt number, attempt one. So the bandits beta here is, and I'll just scroll through, not that you wouldn't believe me, but as you can see, nothing is yellow about the apocalypse bandit difficulty. It is basically Apocalypse with modified bandit settings here. Modifying it to disable friendlies and lower their spawn chance. As for the character, here is the character I've come up with, which is uh, fairly full of traits. So we have taken quite a numerous amount of negative traits. So thin-skinned, high thirst, slow healer, underweight, conspicuous, hearty appetite, prone to illness, smoker, unlucky, weak stomach, short-sighted, and slow reader. We are a veteran, just like the uh, description had you believe. And then for the positive traits, outdoorsman, wakeful, gymnast, fast learner, keen hearing, stout, handy, and athletic. For a sizable amount of skill bonuses. So we're getting level up bonuses for... Reloading, aiming, carpentry, light-footed, maintenance, nimble, uh, and then have higher than average strength and fitness. We are going to be Roxy Treadway. Wow, and I have an eye patch and everything. Awesome. And uh, let's jump into it. Okay, I know exactly where I am. I am in the bar in Riverside. I don't need a map to tell me that. So uh, this, for this series, I'm starting in Riverside. And I'm in the bar, which means to my right is the laundromat and food market. And then a little bit further beyond is like a general store. And a general store is a really good place to get my weight up. Because as I read off the traits, I'm underweight. So gaining weight quickly is going to be paramount. As you can see, the priority above my head is just starting. So I want to get lay of the land. Um, but mostly what I want to do is to, uh, try to find a weapon, try to find a source of water and food and all that stuff. And there should be some bourbon bottles here, which would be ideal for containing water. But if not, I can pour out some of the wine bottles and, uh, oh yeah, here we go. Here's a bourbon bottle. Sorry, bourbon lovers, but I just poured it on the ground. And then also, I'm going to be eating like a pig to try to get my calories up so that my weight can get up into the 80 range because it starts off at 70, and that's not good. Uh, I am a smoker, so it would be really good to grab cigarettes when I can find them. 
And I'm just looking to see if there's any... Sometimes there's a baseball bat behind the bar. That'd be awesome, but I don't think I'm going to get that lucky. Or any other um, lootables. So here's cigarettes and a lighter. That's perfect. So now I've got 80 cigarettes, which is enough for like very many days of, uh, of being a smoker, which is fantastic. And I have two empty bottles ready for water. Pretty good start. No weapon, but pretty good start. I'm going to go into the bathrooms and see if there's anything useful in the bathroom. Sometimes there is. Screwdriver. Saw. Duct tape. I might not keep the duct tape very long because uh, duct tape is pretty common and I don't think I'm going to need tons of it. Another lighter and a l more matches. And then let's go ahead and fill the two empty bottles with water so that I have a steady supply of hydration. Speaking of hydration, cheers. All right, this building is done. Every now and then you can find um, like sports cars and keys in the driveway here or in the parking lot, I should say. So let's check that. Have I played CDDA? Uh, no, not really. I've like launched it once, but uh, but the barrier to entry, the complexity of that game, I was like, all right, I don't have time to learn this, so I'll table it. So we got lucky. There is a key in the ignition. It has a little bit of gasoline. Uh, and it seems to be running. That's insanely lucky. Uh, so one of the things I'm probably going to want to do is to get gasoline for this thing. So let's see. It is a sports car, obviously. Uh, I'm going to pause while I analyze. So the engine is... Uh, high quality and not very loud. It's super high horsepower. Uh, the gas tank only has like a gallon of gas or one unit of gas. And then the trunk is tiny. Uh, 22 capacity. So the trunk is like, ugh, gross. Uh, so it's not like an awesome car to use, but hey, I mean, having wheels at all is phenomenal. Let's take a look at this one. This one has a Louisville map. I have noticed, maybe it's because of the Bandits mod, that sometimes loading up mats take a minute. I don't know if it's like Bandits or something else. I'm not sure. Um, but I did just get a pencil. So one of the things I want to do is to start marking down the things that I want to collect. Uh, pencils are not on the list. But for those that don't know, I use this here, this list, to track the things. So it tracks all the skill books, the VHS tapes. Uh, the rare VHS tapes, and then the typical tools on the left there that I like to find, like generator, can opener, generator magazine, sledgehammer, etc. And then just generally what to collect, which would be garbage bags, nails, ammunition, spare clothing, etc. Uh, spare clothing, I will give you a little bit of a spoiler, is a lot more important when you're fighting bandits than when you're fighting zombies. Because, uh, well, when zombies attack you, Every scratch can be fatal. When bandits attack you, obviously, they are not infected with the virus. Uh, but that also means that um, every time they hit you, you know, you're going to have to patch up and all that. So uh, the other thing I want to do is to take off this eye patch, uh, as it's probably doing me no favors for my, like, visibility and search. I'm already, you know, I already have bad vision. I don't need to make it worse. So in terms of the map, now we have a little section of, uh, of uh, Louisville um, known. But we don't have a lot of gas for this, uh, this vehicle that I have. And that's probably going to be a bit of an issue. Um, before I hop in this car, I would like to hoof it over to the general store. And then also just like dump everything out of the trunk. Yeah, the, uh, the eye patch was cosmetic. I was, uh, I was role-playing as a, uh, veteran pirate. Oh, there's another car here. I didn't even see it. And I don't have a weapon yet, so good old stompy stomps. Gonna be my only method of self-defense for now. I'm going to switch out pants from my shorts to baggy jeans for better uh, protection. And then let's put on this dude's shoes because stomping on people with sneakers is uh, ouchies. 
Would wearing glasses help with the vision impairment? It would, yes. And when I find glasses, I will put them on. So if we take a look at the um, search area, because of traits and professional bonuses, I have a negative bonus radius. And that is a result of my um, one of my traits. That's the result of the short-sighted. So for to counteract short-sighted, all I need to do is wear glasses. So it's, it's, it's very much a freebie trait, in my opinion. Because you slap the glasses on, and all of a sudden that trait is negated. And glasses won't stop you from wearing helmets. It will stop you from wearing face masks, but... Uh, but if you can do without face masks, uh, then it's fine. Alright, the laundromat is locked up. I don't have any weapons to be able to break windows. And I don't want to use my bare hands, because that would hurt a lot. So I'm just sneaking around, seeing if there are better vehicles. And let's go ahead and wear a watch. Awesome. And yes, right now it's very high fog. Uh, so the atmosphere conditions or the weather conditions uh, are... Ooh, baseball bat. Okay, the... Uh, oh, okay. What the hell is in this dude's trunk? He has a crafted trigger and a crafted timer and electrician books. Um, this dude was sketchy. I just caught the Unabomber. Well, I didn't catch him, but I did catch to find his car. And he has keys in his car, too. Okay. Go with some streamer luck again, huh? All right. This truck's probably a lot better than that sports car. Uh, engine. It's louder and lower quality. The gas tank is out of gas. Uh, the trunk can hold... 84. So it can hold uh, almost four times more than the sports car. There's some tires that are a little beat up. But, um, but yeah, the, all, all in all, this is a much, much, much better vehicle. It does not, however, have, um... It does not, however, have, uh, gasoline, but I'm gonna fix that. So I think what I'm gonna do is actually start storing my stuff in this, uh, truck instead of on my person so that I have more, uh, carry capacity for, to do more looting. So I'm gonna keep some basic tools on myself, and other than that, I'm just, like, littering everything out. So now I have a baseball bat. Uh, one thing that would be good to find is a way to siphon gas. I could empty out one of my, um, bourbon bottles and siphon gas from the sports car to this truck. Oh, here's glasses. Perfect. Um, but I think what I'm going to do instead is to, uh, just keep looting for now. So here, as you can see, the traits and professional bonuses for that negative radius for, uh, forging is now gone because I have glasses on. Ta-da! All right, that is locked up. I don't have a hammer. I could smash the windows, but I don't know how many zombies are around because visibility is basically nil. Also worth mentioning... Oh, gas can... Oh my god. I, I, I swear I'm not cheating. I know it looks like it. And you have every reason to believe that I am cheating, but I can assure you I am not. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, uh, so the fog condition is a little dangerous because it does not affect the zombies, it just affects the player. So the absolutely atrocious vision that I have right now uh, doesn't matter to the zombies one lick. So just keep that in mind when you're, like, traversing in fog. Alright, so that was an annotated map, and I'm gonna hold on to the annotated map in case I ever go to Lowville. Alright. Um... Yeah, all right, I think I'm going to smash this window, remove the broken glass, and then start looting the food. A huge reason is I start massively underweight. So let me open up the weight overlay here. I want to get my weight into the double arrows up so that I am putting on weight. Because as long as I am underweight, um, my melee damage and my shove efficiency uh, takes a huge hit. And I would like to be able to shove and smash. Especially if I'm going to be fighting uh, bandits. Right? Gotta show no mercy to them bandits. 
So I am just going to eat like a competitive power eater now. And because I have a truck with a 84 units of storage, I can just loot these shelves, shove it all into the into the uh, into the trunk of the truck. And what I'm going to also try to do is preferentially eat the um, the perishables first, leaving the canned goods. Now, of course, I don't yet have a can opener, so the canned goods I wouldn't be able to eat anyway, unless it was like tuna or corned beef, which you don't need can openers for. And I know eating a bunch of fresh veggies and fruit won't really help me put on weight, but I don't want to be wasteful either. This is the luckiest start that you've ever seen. Um, yeah, I would, I would, I would agree with that. The thing is, like, with the bandits marauding, luck is needed. Bandit attacks can really screw you up very fast and very early on. So having a mass amount of luck is sometimes needed to be able to survive. Which is good. Now the big question is, can I find a sledge? Because without a sledgehammer, uh, no matter how much luck I have, uh, this run could turn sour quick. So I'm gonna, I'm just um, favoriting a few of the fresh produce to keep it in my own inventory, and then moving else, everything else over to the truck. Hope it stops fogging soon. Oh, the other thing I forgot to do is all the uh, all the vehicles that I broke into. I should have been checking for uh, emergency channel information, which I had not done. All right, let's see. We have got no emergency info here. I'll just try to remember to do that uh, from here on out. Looking for the emergency channel so I can have weather information and then warnings about power loss, water loss, and helicopter arrival. Not much in this back storage room, but, you know. Still, I like it. Does the sports car have emergency radio? Uh, possibly. I didn't check it. I should have. Same with the the, uh, the blue car, the late baby blue car. Because I broke into it. So let's see. Yes! 1026 is the emergency channel. Alright, let's write that down. Done. All right, the next place I want to head to is the general store across the street uh, before grabbing the gas can and heading to the gas station. Or also just heading to the... Um, there it might, I, I might be able to just siphon the sports car's gas so that I can drive the truck to the gas station, but I want to hit the general store first. The general store might have stuff that I want. Ooh, it's a cop with a bulletproof vest. Uh, there's a lot of people in this. Oh, they have really big backpacks. They have the large hiking bag. So I'm going to have my, uh, my work cut out for me here in terms of combat, but the rewards are pretty rich. Which is, I can get a really good bag out of it. So they're about to bust out of this door, because that's a lot of zombies attacking a door. Let's keep our weight up. Because we have, uh... We'll have some bonuses. Is there a timer before the bandits arrive? No, they're random. So I guess what happened here is that there were looters attacking the store. And then the cops were called in and everyone turned into zombies.
they all just fall down? There we go. Getting some crunches. Alright, lady. You're... I think the other one actually had an even better hiking bag. It had the large version. But let's go and grab the holster. I'm not going to bother with the jacket. Because uh, it doesn't offer enough uh, protection to warrant uh, the heat gain, in my opinion. Uh, military boots. Leather gloves. She has a duffel. Noted. Maybe they're the same size bag. I think this is the larger size bag, but if it's not, I'll just take that one. And a free crowbar. Yeah, not bad. So, more military boots. Stone hammer. You know, I don't have any hammer, so I might as well take a stone hammer. It's better than nothing. Uh, this guy has a bulletproof vest, which is very important when you're fighting um, bandits. Because bandits will shoot you with guns. And uh, bulletproof vest will protect you from a shot or two. And then nightstick. And was I right? No, this is the same size hiking bag. That's fine. It's mine now. And I'm also going to wear the bullets bandolier so that I can um, reload faster. All right, that was a that was a hell of a find. Uh, let's go ahead and organize the gear. So this Desert Eagle is really loud, but if I am being attacked by a bunch of bandits that are trying to murder and stab me to death, yes, I will open fire on them. And then everything else is going to go into my backpack. So. Favoriting the hunting knife, favoring the nightstick. I'm going to use up this... Oh, hello. I'm going to use up my current baseball bat until it breaks and then switch over to the crowbar. Uh, spiked plank. Gas mask. Yeah, I don't really care. So everything else is going into the backpack that I want on my person, like a crowbar. Um, oh, this hunting knife... I should not have favored it. Let's put the extra stuff away. And just keep eating. And I definitely don't need bloody shoes. Vera, thank you for the sub. And Aruku for the resub. And Kaiju too. Cheers. And Shona. Man, I missed a lot. And Kath. In my defense, I was defending myself from uh, marauding bandits. Or zombified marauding bandits. Alright, scissors. That's an awesome find. So things that should go in my backpack. The screwdriver, the wrench. Um, matches. Pencil and blue pen. Okay. Oh, keys to the place. Don't mind if I do. Petrable, thank you for the bits. The last bandit had a bandolier? I'm uh, wearing a bandolier, aren't I? Yeah, I'm already wearing a bandolier. Uh, ooh, lots of drugs. The vitamins I'm probably going to have in my not backpack so that I can consume them quick if I am um, tired. We've got a Rosewood annotated map and another map of Louisville. Or Louisville, whatever you want to call it. I'll take the gas can and the lug wrench. Uh, sheets are kind of nice if I want to block uh, windows. Ooh, hello. Pickaxe, trowel, farming one, cabbage. Do rotting zombies cause sickness? They do. It takes a bit of time and a certain quantity of zombies to start to cause illness. Uh, but if you, for instance, if you're defending a base and the base gets absolutely overrun by zombies and you kill all the zombies in the base and there's like, let's say, 20 of them, you will absolutely start getting sick. Uh, but you can remove the sickness by burying them or throwing them into dumpsters and deleting them. So there's, there's a lot of counters for zombie sickness. I don't have a large pot yet, so I'll take this saucepan. March Ridge map. Don't mind if I do. And then before I get way too overweighted, uh, let's go ahead and drop off this. So one big thing to note is because of bandits... I have to be very careful about being over encumbered. It's very easy to outrun zombies um, when you're over encumbered because you just walk away. But bandits sprint at you. So if you're if you're over encumbered, you can try to just like quickly drop your backpack in a pinch. But um, 
But being heavily weighed down nor uh, like regularly with bandits uh, around is uh, is a complete and utter death sentence. You should not do it. You will get murdered. Because you will have multiple bandits with melee weapons swar or, or guns swarm you and just, just obliterate you. Just fair warning. Zombies are slow. Bandits not so much. Do gas masks help? They do not. They probably should, and there are mods that make it so the gas masks can negate the zombie rotting penalties, but... It's not a, a, a vanilla mechanic yet. Well, this person had a key ring. We are almost done looting this building. And this is probably like closing in on a week's worth of food, provided I get a, um, a refrigerator for the perishables and a can opener for the cans. Do zombies go after bandits too? Yes. And bandits go after zombies. When it comes to, like, additional information about bandits, um, I think I'm going to side on the answer of just wait and see. I'll be, sw I'll be uh, attacking bandits soon enough. You'll see how they behave soon enough. Uh, pipe wrench, sure. And the last back room. Character's getting a little overweighted, but I think just because it's one more trip, I might as well just strip this all down and then move on. Coffee! Fantastic. Let's go ahead and favorite that. And stick that in the hiking bag. We have a lot of cooking stuff. And I did also already get a cooking tape. So that might come in handy. I am a fast learner. So learning to cook shouldn't take too long. Cooking is definitely one of the skills that is pretty easy to power level. Okay, I'm almost at max carry weight. We're gonna mosey on back towards the van or the truck. Oh, uh, that one had a leather jacket. I'm gonna stick that in my hiking bag. So I don't necessarily want to wear a leather jacket all the time because it overheats you and being overheated means that you attack slower and, um, uh, it can incur other penalties as well. With that said, uh, it can be very nice to throw a, a leather jacket on if I know I'm about to be in like a big fight. So if I got my back, if I'm cornered and bandits are surrounding a building or something, uh, extra protection is, is can be life-saving. Trucking Life, thank you for the resub too. Maybe some spare boots? Um, I am looking for a very specific type of spare boots, and I'm not too worried about uh, picking up boots that I don't like. TLDR, I like the desert boots, because they don't insulate as much, so they keep your, your body heat down. And uh, they're pretty plentiful. All right, the, um, the trunk is full. So I'm going to put the rice in my backpack, I guess. Let's just keep eating. My weight is already double up arrowed, meaning that I'm like gaining as much weight as, as possible. But I'll just keep eating. All right, and the other thing I wanted to do is to get a little bit of fuel in here so I can go over to the gas station and actually top it up. So gas cans into the backpack. Yeah, the desert military boots, exactly. Those boots um, offer the same sort of protection that the regular military boots do, but without the unwanted, your feet are hot and you feel awful. All 
All right, so this car that I didn't actually break into actually does have gasoline, so I'm going to siphon it out. Uh, the blue, blue car, I don't think, had fuel. Whoa, did we fill one entire gas can? No. But, yeah, we, we got some units of gas there. Uh, I think I'm going to leave the gas in this sports car alone. Because if I get marooned around here, it's really nice to have a backup car. So let's mark that down. I have now looted this building and this building. And then I know it's not a car, but there's not a symbol for a car. Uh, I'm going to add a note. Uh, working car. I know it looks like a boat. And then we've also looted the bar. There's more stuff in the bar, like beer and booze, but like alcohol is really not that useful in this game. Kinda gets you killed. So it's uh, 6.20 p.m. I'm probably not going to be able to do much more than just go to the gas station. So we're also going to have to look for a place to uh, go to sleep tonight. I think there's a... Oh, I got to actually add the gas. I think there's a pretty good solution, which is that um, in the sports car, there was a tent. So if I could find... If I could chop up a plank into uh, sturdy, sturdy sticks, I could then... Um, make myself a tent which would be really useful for uh for spending the night i would just need to find some twigs in the forest so i'm not really looking to pick a big fight with a whole lot of zombies so what i'm hoping to do is just um go over to the gas station attracting the least amount of um attention as possible which is Kind of difficult, because this truck sounds pretty loud. Yeah, this might be more of a fight than I want to, uh, I want to take on at the moment. But the, yeah, this is the gas station that I would otherwise want to go to. Um. Hmm. And then there's a police station there, which would be great for handguns and ammunition and the like. Uh, it looks like I can drive up into the woods up here and then uh, fight them more like one at a time. So I think this is probably a good, pretty good strategy. I should check on the condition of this baseball bat. I'm gonna have the crowbar in my backpack, but... Oh, no, this baseball bat's fine. Oh, come on. You were literally illuminated green. For that... You get double tap. Alright, let's see. Any of them have anything useful? Not really. Not at all. Uh, Trucking Life, thanks for the gifted sub and ZP for the resub. Cheers. Hey. Psst. Hey. Psst. Psst. Trying to split up the group of four. Is this a new series? It is indeed. You can see with the clock at the top right how very little time has passed. My... Ooh, denim... Oh, it's torn up. I'm going to put on the leather jacket in case I make some 
errors and then take off the t-shirt I had underneath. The t-shirt I had underneath was not offering any protection, so I certainly don't need it for the insulation. Character's overheated. Look like G.I. Jane now. G.I. Jane, the angry librarian. So I parked, um, for reference, I parked way up there. So that I didn't have to necessarily... Because if you park like right at the gas station, you're going to get swarmed. I'd rather park somewhere not swarming and then, like, fight my way through. It does look like I've liberated enough of the gas station that I should be able to pump, maybe, by before the end of the night. So there's three here. And there might be some in the blind spot on the other side of the pumps. Give him a little whisper whisper. Come on. You know you want to fight. Ooh. Make sure we actually connect. Uh, you know what? I might want your baseball cap. Just because sometimes when you get attacked, um, when you wear a hat, it like your hat will fall off rather than you get like murdered. This lady had long gloves, but I already have leather gloves. Did I spawn in the police station? No, I spawned in the bar. Uh, the Riverside Bar. And worked my way over here. There might be some good ice cream in the freezer over here that I could eat. Why am I holding broken glass? Okay. Well, I could definitely put that down. Something tells me it's not mission critical to hoard broken glass. Who's growling at me? They must be outside. No, no, they're inside. I thought they must be outside because I didn't hear the, um, the window damage noises, but now I do. Uh, what window would be... Let's see if there's anyone... Okay, I should be able to break this window and have it not attract the horde. Nope, oh, she broke her window too. And fell out. Come here, lady. Come on! All right, we have an annotated map of Louisville. Uh, five Louisville map. You know, I'll read them later. Do I already have the map for Rosewood? I don't have... Uh... Hello. You just interrupted my reading time. Oh, but you have a key to the place. That's fair. Alright, let's go through these Louisville maps, because I don't really want them. I just want to map out the area. So, I'm effectively just, like, transcribing them. We can dump all these maps. Here we go. Uh... I was mostly here for... I'll start putting stuff in the backpack. I was mostly here just to grab gasoline. But more junk food is always welcome. Put some weight on my skinny butt. Yum, gas station cheese. Can't think of a better snack. So it's getting dark, and I'm going to be losing visibility soon. Uh, 
which makes pumping gas a little bit more dangerous, and I don't really have a place to sleep tonight. Although I could just go and... sleep in, like, a utility closet. Ooh, another crowbar. Move, like, a plastic chair into a... into a closet or something. One rough night of sleep is not tragic. Not for me, at least. I'm trying to keep my, um... my encumbrance down. Thank you for tuning in to Project Zomboid Bandit Slayer, which originally streamed live on Twitch August 15th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my online gaming community on Discord, Rodamont.com has a link to it, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. I hope to catch a next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow bandit slayers.